At random occasions, I find new roleplay games, which I wasn't intending on finding. But here we got a game called Southeast Baltimore MD 2003. So I'm gonna give you a game history and backstory to this. Project Baltimore circa 2003 was a game developed to be based off of Southeast Baltimore MD. The game and police department within the game are both inspired by a hit TV show called the Wire and We Own the City. The Wire was a show about Baltimore police officers in the era of the 2000s, while We Own the City was based off the A sandal within the BPD. This game is meant to capture the city of Baltimore back in the era of 2003 with the essence of The Wire in the game. Again, this game is not meant to capture everything correct about Baltimore MD. Current departments, Baltimore Police Department, BPD, and Baltimore City Fire Department, BCFT. So this is going to be pretty interesting and also you got to remember that the game does not have an accurate depiction of the real life city or area. So once we load in we're met with this. I can already tell that this game is not being developed by a big studio of developers but quite rather just one or two developers maybe. But I still find it to look pretty good and that's interesting enough. You can see they are kind of going with the ERLC style here in, uh, in a way. So as you see with the windows, they are kind of doing what ERLC did without actually making real windows. They are making these like fake lookalike windows. <laughs> but as you can see, they are kind of out of the wall a bit. He should probably put them closer into the wall so the windows don't look too big. And uh, you can see here there's a few buildings that haven't been finished yet. But I guess they're going to get finished with time. So in here we got the car dealership. Let's see if we can actually spawn a car. Oh yes, we can. So all of these are free. I would recommend that you put a photo of the cars here so people can actually see what they're going to spawn in. Because that's quite important because some people might not know about all these car models. But luckily, since I play so many roleplay games each and every day, I kind of got the idea of it. My car despawned, I think. Um, Let me do this again. Spawn car. Crown Victoria LTD. There we go. All right. Now this looks cool. This is a good looking car right here. I ain't gonna lie. Wow. All right. Let's get inside. Let's turn the engine on because apparently it was off. But there we go. So now we got this car right here. Beautiful car. And as you can tell, it's basically the older kind of styled vehicles in a way. So it isn't the modern kind of vehicles you would see today so this is a sign i saw in some of the photos that was sent and it was actually super interesting so it says here we are here because it's home and that's actually a very cool sign that has been put here or sign i don't know text you can say super cool to have in here from what i can tell they have placed quite some ugly <laughs> looking cars on the sides here you see they haven't been cleaning forever man <laughs> no but honestly it's pretty cool that there is some life to the city as well so here we got the gomez brothers deli not sure if this is an actual restaurant but it said that it wasn't a depiction of a real city so i'm guessing it's probably not you can clearly tell that this game is not close to finished yet but that's fully understandable since i know for a fact that there isn't a lot of developers working on the game here we can see some neighborhoods being worked on right here and i actually see some apartments here i want to check out these look pretty cool but kind of strange on the other side with no windows and stuff and some of these windows are kind of glitching meaning they're probably uh they have probably managed to put too many windows in the same window space if you get what i'm saying and also it doesn't seem like we have working lights on the vehicles no blinkers or anything like that so that might be a good thing to fix i also do not see any lights within the game and it's gonna be really hard for me to know what i'm doing right now because i can't see a dang thing <laughs> i'm almost starting to believe that we were in a crisis back in 2003 as well because <laughs> they didn't have any electricity back then it feels like <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, add some more lightning to the game. It's gonna look so much better. And it's gonna give the city a more realistic feeling. I think this might be the only place we haven't seen just yet. Oh, wait, is this the police department right here? Alright, let me check this out real quick. Southeast District. Why is the police department so small, though? Or is it really this small? Wait, let me head inside to make sure. So this right here is the entrance. You got a security camera. <laughs> and then you got some shares. You got the reception and all that you got some papers up here we're gonna head in here if we can oh no we can't since we are not police officers at the moment 
So we're gonna have to head around the building and look through the windows. All right, so I think the building continues all the way up here. Yeah, you can see there are stairs and everything. Maybe if we're lucky enough, we can actually get glitch through this because I can tell that some things are messed up within the game. And I know with <laughs> new developers and stuff, there's always a glitch you can bypass. <laughs> no, but wait, is it actually this big? It seems like it connects to a second building. Let me make sure that this isn't the fire department right here. Wait, what? This is actually the fire department right here. We can walk inside. I, I'm pretty sure this is the fire department or something like it. There ain't no doors in here. That's a bit strange. But from what I can tell due to this big door right here, this is a garage of some kind. And I'm pretty sure it's either for the fire department or police. But right now, I don't see why the police would need that garage right there but the building is huge whatever this is it's huge so that's super cool well that's basically all i have to share for this video i can definitely see this game getting better for right now i'm not gonna recommend you all checking this game out because there is really nothing you can do at the moment but if you'll wait maybe a few months or until 2023 maybe they will have come somewhere with this game and maybe it actually gets picked up even more after i upload this video it's gonna be really interesting to see and yeah y'all have a great day see you in the next vid bye